Hey guys, HW. I'm in Sydney's Brighton La Sands this morning. I just happened to be driving past and I thought, hey, let's stop and do a quick vid in Brighton La Sands. We'll find out in a minute when I turn around and head down the stairs that we're right next to Sydney's Botany Bay, which is famous for a couple of reasons. One, it was pretty much where Australia was founded by Captain Cook over at uh, Cornell and also because there's a massive shipping container facility here and also Sydney uh, Airport a lot of the runways that all you international travellers fly into uh, you land in Botany Bay but um, what we're filming here right now is General Holmes Drive from an overpass bridge walkway and Bay Street and you can see all the restaurants and cafes that dot this intersection this is where a lot of Sydney siders from the, the southwest of Sydney and the southern part of Sydney down the Shire they'll come here to Botany Bay to sample some seafood on the weekend so let's turn around and get down to Botany Bay and have a look and I'll point everything out it's a nice little lookout they've provided us here so yeah look there, there, there you can see a Singapore Airlines plane that's just I don't know whether it's taxiing and getting ready to take off or whether it's just landed or what and then there's a Qantas in the background as well so there's the shipping container facility over there so that's the main port for Sydney for all of the uh, shipping containers that are coming in from all over the world just adjust my microphone here so there's two headlands that you can see there on the left hand side is La Perouse and on the right hand side is Cornell Cornell was where Captain Cook founded Sydney or founded Australia and on the left hand side over there La Perouse unfortunately uh, just earlier this year I think um, a poor chap was um, eaten by a uh, or attacked by a great white shark on um, the left hand side there La Perouse so this uh, Botany Bay does have some sharks it doesn't it very rarely has great white sharks which was involved in that attack because uh, it's more of a more of an area frequented by tiger sharks and you can see in the background over there there's a netted off area where people can go swimming so definitely uh, definitely a bay full of uh, full of sharks Botany Bay so you got to be careful on the weekends a lot of watercraft actions happening there's a lot of um, jet skiers and just people out fishing and, and water skiing and stuff in the bay here so let's get down there quickly dart down these stairs it's a bunch of cockatoos smashing through some seeds or something on the ground here I don't know whether, whether they're eating or whether they might be just sharpening their beaks on, on some pine cones so I notice as I, notice as I was driving down General Holmes Drive before they didn't have any of the shark signs up that they they used to have along the road warning people of uh, swimming in Botany Bay which um, it used to fascinate me as a kid when I used to um, drive past here on the way to see relatives um, in the San Susi area I used to imagine the sharks in the water 
but um, yeah they seem to have got rid of them maybe that's for um, for tourists or maybe there's not as many sharks as there used to be yeah oh, here's a sign up here that sort of shows you it says beach water environments are hazardous it says boating traffic sudden drop off deep water recreational craft and there you go there's the sharks warning on the on the end So a couple of cannons up there. Oh, this is Cook Park, and there's a um, there's one of those telescope things that you can whack coins into, look out into the bay. Oh, here comes a plane landing now. Air Fiji. Someone's coming back from a cheeky little getaway to Fiji. Obviously these yellow posts are volleyball courts or beach volleyball courts. Let's adjust my microphone again. Um, those, those white buildings you can see way off into the distance over there, apartment buildings. That's Cronulla. That's Cronulla Beach on that side. So that area there along Cornell and heading down to Cronulla that's all the peninsula so it's not far the distance to get from the bay over to the Pacific Ocean again and Cronulla Beach You see that guy walking over there with the suntan. You you wouldn't you wouldn't know that it was the middle of winter in Sydney. He's uh, he still thinks it's um, December, January, summer. There's not many cities like Sydney around the world where the airport is so close to the city. It's really only a 15, 20 minute car trip if you get the right sort of traffic to get into the heart of the city. They are looking at building another airport out in Sydney's west. I think it's already under construction. I can't remember when that's going to be uh, completed. Brings back a lot, a lot of memories walking along here. I used to come fishing here with my grandfather back in ancient times. And my favourite was to fish for whiting off the beach. And we used to we used to catch quite a lot. Now, I don't know whether it was my grandfather who was a better fisherman than me. I definitely used to catch a lot more when I was with him. Um, in the years after that, especially after he passed, um, and I'd come myself, I never used to catch that much. So I don't know whether that was more due to modern times, more pollution in the bay, less fish, or whether I'm just a crap fisherman. <laughs> I don't know. Lady's busy feeding the seagulls. These people got a little beach cafe here. Sitting down having their morning coffee and oh, it's getting close to lunch as well. I actually ate in one of these restaurants on Christmas Day one once. Some of them do open up on Christmas Day for Christmas lunch. 
and it's a nice spot looking out into the bay. I can't recall whether I had a, a Christmas dinner that day or whether it was, I would say it would prob probably would have been seafood. Would have had a seafood style Christmas, Christmas dinner. I don't know whether these restaurants open up for lunch, whether they only open up on the weekend, I'm not too sure. So there's a closer look at the fishing net there. So yeah, look overall, nice little board. boardwalk along here, along Brighton the Sands. the entrance to the Brighton Baths Athletic Club. For those that want a bit of a history lesson, the reason why after they founded Australia in Botany Bay, the first settlement over that over that headland over there was a failure because the land the land was too sandy. They couldn't grow anything, they couldn't survive. And it was later when they did a bit more exploration that they found Sydney Harbour which was one a lot more sheltered for the ships but also provided a different type of soil which was actually sufficient for growing vegetables and and it, all, and it also had a, a decent water supply as well When I was a kid, I, d I don't remember there being so much vegetation along this foreshore just here. I think this is something that over the years they've put in to bring down the erosion. Okay, there's a fishing boat out to their favourite spot, probably somewhere along one of the sea walls. There's another restaurant over there, the Jail, Jail House Rock Pizza and Pasta Bar. So this foreshore along here, a lot of people come walking and running along here of course. It's a, it goes for a fair distance. Um, this particular section goes all the way down to Dole's Point, which is the uh, pretty much at the entrance of the bay and the Georges River. I just pause here again and have a look out into the bay, point out a few things. So this, um, these white tanks that you can see over there are oil refinery. So fuel does get processed over there. I don't know whether they process it on this side as well, or whether these tanks are just to support the the uh, shipping container port. But this one over here has definitely been there since day dot. Just 
Just a short little vid today. I'll get ready to switch this off in a sec. Because I was actually out filming something else. We might end it by having a look across the road into this restaurant called the Grand Roxy. Um, which is actually listed as a function setter. So there's probably a lot of, um, a lot of weddings had in there. So yeah, Brighton Lee Sands. Oh hey, I forgot forgot to do something. I think I forgot to do the house values. So Brighton Lee Sands, average house value, 1.8 million. Average unit price, around 720,000. So if you're thinking of moving to Sydney, is another option for you. Right next to Botany Bay. Good lifestyle around here, close to the close to the airport, close to the city. So another option to check out. So yeah, let's instead end the video here, looking out through the headlands of Botany Bay. Hope you enjoy the little skirt around Brighton the Sands. The video is over.